Get in, bitches, we're going shopping. <laughs> get in, losers, we're going shopping. Oh, get in, get lose, in losers, losers, we're, we're going, going shopping. shopping. Woo! <laughs> I don't know, what kind of shopping are we doing? <laughs> plant. <laughs> plant? Plant shopping. Wow, you can really, really plant. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, hello. Um, it's been quite some time. A month, exactly. Not exactly, but pretty close. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll talk about where I've been, what I've been doing at the very end of this video. But for now, we are going to be going and uh, buying a Christmas tree. We have not bought a Christmas tree in over two years. This is our first Australian Christmas in over two years. Um, and fuck, we're not excited. No, we are excited. It's just gonna be really hot. And we're just like, you know, we become such snow bums and it's like, fucking Australian it's summers, man. Australian summers are so fucking hot, dude. Like, how good are those like days where it's like, you know, minus 20 and it's like nice and snowy, white cap trees everywhere, dude. The best. The best, yeah. <laughs> Once you get past minus 10, it all feels the same, so it doesn't matter how cold it is anyway. Yeah. Same, same, but different. So, uh, so yeah, we thought we'd uh, go buy ourselves a Christmas tree. It is a little bit late, you know, most people obviously start, it's the 8th of December, so we're... we're okay, we're I just want to flag that when we're in Canada, we didn't have a Christmas tree until two cr days before yeah. Christmas, because yeah. we went chopped one down. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But uh, so yeah, so uh, we'll go find ourselves a real Christmas tree. None of this fake plastic bullshit. We want that real Christmas smell. Pine. 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 We want to pine over the pine. Yep. So we're out here at uh, Tim's. Yeah, Timmy's. Timmy's. Timmy's trees. Oh, what am I doing? That's the wrong one. I want. To, I don't want to be playing with that guy. And, uh, I'm not feeling excited because they look like pleb trees, so stay tuned. How, how, are you, how, how tall do you want your Christmas tree to be? It's as tall as me. Minimum. Uh, the minimum? Minimum. Fuck, you might have to go out bush to get that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that, don't think that meets, meets the height requirement that you're after. <laughs> you're a little bit too tall. <laughs> I think that might tree. be... That's it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I see what's going on. <laughs> it looks like, are they all... Are these all like ivory to be chosen trees? No. No? no. Only these ones here with the black stuff around it. Uh, Interesting. But they're all good. There right. might be some taller ones in there, dude. Like the tall tree. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, actually, that's actually as tall as you, dude. No. No? Not tall enough? No, not But tall. the good ones are along, along here. This bit here that mm. uh, me and Tim's son yeah. have picked out the wee line. Yeah. As tall as me? Ah, uh, it's it's taller than you, dude. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Can right, we go back inside? Yeah, I guess so. Right. Do we have to flag it? Yeah. yeah. We have to take. We have to carry it. We'll just, we'll just take this one, dude. Yeah. Are you getting the sand as well? Ah, uh, no, nah, we got a sand. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> got me <a> tree. <laughs> it's a good looking tree. I do say so myself. She's looking juicy. She's looking like she's a Christmas tree. Hey, I had one crimen taller than me. I hope you didn't lie to me. All right, you're not that big. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> she fit. Oh well, mate, she fits like a dream. Ah, uh, to the Christmas warehouse. Do you know what? I'm gonna say that the only reason I do want to go in there is that this Christmas warehouse constantly has people on the road. It has the people that twirl the signs out the and front, and every Sunday, we should I drive past them. And do you know what? I honestly go. I feel I so sorry for them, and I've always wondered how that marketing strategy works, and if it works, and in like it is at this present moment. The only reason I want to go is because I've seen those people, so it works. So every Sunday, we're just like, I kind of want to go here. If you guys have a company, uh, go get some people to stand outside with some signs, dude, because it, it, it got me. So. Professional toilet sanders. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much Christmas stuff, man. This is nuts. It's fucking lit. It's fucking All right, so we've got a bit of a dilemma where we probably should have bought a new stand. 
This is an old stand. The reason I didn't say get a new stand is because this one actually works really well because the, the other one's plastic, right? So they end up fucking falling over half the time because they're not strong enough. Right, okay. So we need to... Okay, can you spin the tree around so I can get like a nice... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Stop, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> you why? Okay. This is the pleb side. That's the pleb side. Yeah, so we need to break branches off that side. This side. Yeah. Well, no, but here, this this bit here. Yeah. Because it needs but to be You're gonna remember corner. what's gonna be visible is the top part. Yeah, but this is the pleb. This is already patchy, so I say rip off this bit, and then that's the bit that goes into that. Corner so the pleb there. side's gonna go into there, but then that other side's still gonna be visible. You didn't realize this, right? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. Well, because you have to, it's gonna sit on the inside there. Yeah, but you just turn it around. The stand around, so the pleb side is facing the window. Okay, righto. Let's uh, let's do that then. Let's break off some branches. Okay. You wanna break off the branches? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Break them off. Okay. Break them off. Break, break them off. Plants have feelings too. You might have to get some scissors, bro. Like I'm thinking garden. that because something's happening. Oh my god! When you nearly chop off his finger. <laughs> I can't believe we had to go to hospital because of this. <laughs> Christmas horror. Christmas curse. <laughs> yeah, and then I can just get another, I can get another one through there. And it just won't go down as low. Is that like, that's not very stable though. But then, you know Look at that, look at that negative. We just need to put some bricks under there or something. <laughs> Brick? Yeah. Why can I just punch more holes through it? And I can, I can punch another hole in there and we'll just screw it. I need to get a drill. Okay. Do you want to hold this? Do you want to get a drill? I can go get a drill. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> well, my tools are at work, so it's the bloody Bosch little hand drill, and we need to get the uh, the crafter. I said you should be screw bits. Woo! For the crafty girl. The craft, right? Um, how's it going? The actual tree is so far away. Cool moose now. Hey Siri, call the great big moose. Missed it. Yeah, because I got the little. Moose! Yeah, what's going on? Bro, where are you still at the, you still at the shops? I'm just leaving now, why? Can you, any chance you can swing past my house? Uh, have you got your drills with you? Yes. I just need to pump some more holes into my uh, tree stand so I can hold up my Christmas tree. You reckon you can? You reckon you can make it happen for us? Christmas miracle. Yeah, thanks for you. Oh, mate, you're a Christmas miracle. Yeah, thanks, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> you're all, you're also you're also on the vlog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see you soon. Oh, Wait. The great big moose. So. Howdy. How's that uh, finger, bro? Did you actually That's break the wall? Yeah. You had like surgery, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Today. That's a good point. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our, we just need to get a, like, we did get another hole in, but like another one in the middle uh -huh. would just be great. So like a, right like an eight mil hole and then some screws, bro. I like your tree, bro. Thanks, bro. It was, uh, it was great until Stephanie cut half the <laughs> fucking tree off to make this fucking work. But that's what we're working with. Oh, sorry. Finally got the hole. Who's a good boy? It's you. I promise it's you. When is it gonna drop? Alright! <laughs> Pretty sure it's, it's, it's coming. Is the drop's coming?
Um, I'm actually surprised uh, I do need to turn that alarm, alarm on. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate for me, it's a very early alarm. Uh, I'm actually surprised I've made it this far in actually filming an outro. Um, yeah, like, in regards to, like, where I've been, why I haven't posted, I don't really, like, have an answer. Like, I, 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 I've been super busy. <laughs> um, working this solar job has been uh, a great source of income to get me back on my feet, getting back into Australia, which has been fantastic. I've appreciated that. I've learned, I don't know, another skill, uh, I guess, even though being no truth and isn't my dying passion, uh, it's definitely a great source of income. Um, and, you know, in like big picture things, I think the goal for Steph and myself now is to permanently put ourselves back in Canada and so you need to make money. Um, but in saying that, uh, the Renoco Productions thing has, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's kicked off. I've, uh, uh, I, I've started a new, uh, a new th gig, I guess, with uh, Sydney MX Dome. Uh, I, I go there every Friday at the moment and I uh, produce content for them for all their social media platforms, which has been fantastic, making videos, taking photos. Uh, on all that stuff, which has been great, uh, and it's going to kick off into a, it's going to kick into like a full-time role when they open in February. We're hoping February. Um, but yeah, so that's been fantastic. Uh, I've also been doing stuff for other companies like Bare Body Beauty. I went down the other week and photographed uh, their candle making thing, uh, where they make candles and stuff, like a candle making course. Um, Shot a christening yesterday, filmed a video for uh, Assembly, uh, which is a new locals night thing in this area, which was super fun for a friend called Kevin. That was great. Uh, I've just, I don't know. Like, I, I, I think, oh, sorry. I think the thing that's got me the most um, is that this is the first time in two years that I haven't been in Canada and the thing that I love creating the most, I haven't been able to do, so I've just completely stopped. Just put a hold on everything. Uh, like, I don't really have an answer. It's definitely not the right answer. I know not creating is not <laughs> what I enjoy. I know I, I know I enjoy creating because even though I haven't posted in like almost a month now, there has been numerous times where I've filmed things and I haven't edited them. Like, I've got at least three videos on back roll right now that I have filmed, I have no, and I just haven't completed it, and I just haven't fucking put it together, and there's no fucking reason why. Um, I've had lots of time, they just haven't been the things that I've fucking wanted to be doing. Um, and I guess this is all just like part of, that's like part of the uh, transitioning or the transition back into this lifestyle that is what I'm currently living. But I am in complete control of what I do and do not do. But you know, obviously it's a bit, it's a bit different back here where the things that I enjoy doing aren't as exactly um, accessible. Uh, they're a lot more difficult to get to. Uh, obviously, I'm quite lucky that there is some nice bike, like biking trails, like close by, uh, but um, I don't know, just haven't had the times, you know, like they haven't all lined up to be, to be able to do these things. Uh, and you know, it also is coming into that, you know, festive season where there's a lot of family events and stuff like that going on. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know. Uh, I don't know like when I'll be making more YouTube videos. I'd like to say that I would be. I'd like to say I'd be more, be creating just more in general. And I think that's another thing as well. I think the fact that I have like now got this job on a Friday where I, I am creative and I, I do like I let my creativity flow for another company. It comes to my days off and. Well, one, I'm fucking tired, and then two, like, I don't know, I sort of feel like I, I let my creativity out, and then, I don't know, that sounds, it sounds weird to say, but that's sort of how I feel a little bit, and like, 
I think the hardest thing as well at the moment is that I am working away from home. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, you can see that I'm at the beach most mornings, which has been fantastic. Uh, I, I get up there, I get there like at like 5.30. Uh, and like I, I do some stretching, I do some yoga, I fucking go for a run, and then I swim, and I just fucking appreciate how beautiful this thing called life is. Um, but, you know, not being near my friend circle, the people that I do usually create with has been very difficult. Um, but yeah, so that might change. But in saying that, there's no reason why I can't be making videos when I'm on the fucking water. Like, there's so many things I can do. And it's just whether or not I fucking do it. Uh, and this is all comes in with, like, in with balance. Like, I think the reason why when I was in Whistler, I was able to create, like, so much content um, was because, one... <laughs> For work, I was surrounded by fucking action sports, which has made it so much easier than two. I'm in Whistler, which is like an outdoor capital, like one of the outdoor capitals of the world. So there's like so many things to do at like, you know, meters distance of like of my fucking place. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think I just, yeah, I think I've sort of just realized that being back home is a lot more difficult and I'm not blaming anything because I know it's all on me. But I've struggled, 100% I've struggled, uh, and like it's sort of been good. Um, like I haven't, like even though I haven't created anything, well, I, like, even though I've made videos, I haven't felt pressured. And the other thing is, is that like I haven't enjoyed them enough, and I'm not going to put out shit I don't like. I like I've done that before. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it does come to a point where there's videos like these or it's more of a vlog style and less like uh, creative and like knowledgeable. Cause like I, I found myself on YouTube just watching vlogs again, which I like, and I was enjoying it. I'm like, why don't I ever do this shit? Like I still do stuff on the weekends. This is not things that I would generally film like today. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't usually go film me and Steph fucking buying a Christmas tree and then all of a sudden having Moose come around to help me drill a hole because I didn't have my tools but then Moose brought a DJ deck and then we played fucking Christmas tunes but it was fun so maybe like getting back on the whole like vlog thing on the weekend is not a bad thing and then when something fun comes up that is uh more educational that I could uh throw my two cents on if I know things it could be a goer who bloody knows but anyway uh that's it for today's video. Uh, if you uh, like it, let me know. I can definitely pump out more vlog style videos. Um, if you're wanting more how-to camera stuff, action sports stuff, let me know. Uh, there's no reason why I can't go out to another fucking downhill mountain bike trail and film some of that. It's just organizing it with <laughs> my friends. And like, you know, that's the other thing as well is that don't really have like the creative little environment but yeah I've had some chats with some people who sort of feel the same way so hopefully we can collab on some things which would be mad but yeah um yeah so let me know what you guys think like the video if you want to do that subscribe to the channel uh if you're new my name is Michelle Connor. I uh, used to make videos every Monday and every Friday at the moment they just uh come whenever I actually film an outro like I am right now. So, yeah, but besides that, subscribe. Um, have a great day. Pat some puppies. <laughs> actually, hold on a second. Like, seriously, pat some puppies. It's a festive season. Uh, go see your family. Say hello to your mum. I don't know. Enjoy the life, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Say bye, Blizz. See ya. <laughs> Jingle blizz, jingle blizz, jingle blizz. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs>